Chris Shady, and today in Homemade Science, I want to take a look at an energy track. Now to start, let's take a quick look at two tracks that are identical. Here I have two pieces of bookshelf tracks that I've screwed down to a piece of plywood. And what I want to do is prop up this one end so it's on a slight incline. There we go. Next, I simply want to release these two steel balls at the same time. And as we would expect, we'll see that they move together. Releasing them at different positions, we see that the distance between them still stays the same. There's no surprise here that tracks match so we would expect the same acceleration. But where it becomes more interesting is what happens if we change the shape of one of the tracks. Well, one of my favorite pieces is called the high-low track and it looks something like this. Now, in a previous video, I have shown other variations of the high-low track. But I've always wanted to go larger. So I decided to make one out of some leftover remodeling materials. It's big enough that I could use them with two bowling balls. This piece is just a little bit too big to show in here, so I think we're going to have to move this outside. Now these bowling balls have the same amount of mass and I'm lifting them up to the same height. So they're starting with the same amount of potential energy. In this case it's due to gravity. Gravity is going to pull them down the tracks, they're going to race towards the finish line, but the paths they take are completely different. Now the end point for the track is also at the same height. So the question is which track will get the ball to the finish line first? Now the shortest distance between two lines is a straight path. So let's try just this track by itself. Now this track is actually about 8% longer than this track. Well, let's give it a try. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, now it's time to make a prediction. Which track do you think will get the ball to the finish line first? Will both balls arrive together, or will one of the tracks get the ball to the end first? There's only one way to find out, and that's to release them. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, we heard two splashes, so they didn't arrive together. Let's go back and see which track won. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So the question is, why are we seeing such a difference between these two tracks? The results aren't even close. When I lift this ball up, my body's doing a certain amount of work using chemical energy. By placing the ball on the ramp, I now have given this ball potential energy due to gravity. The total amount of gravitational potential energy is due to the height, in this case from the ground up to here. Now as the ball rolls down the track, some of its potential energy is changed into motion. And if we look at the initial starting height, which is about here, and the ending height on the track is about here, that's the change in potential energy. And that's what's causing the ball to move. If we look at this first track, it's a nice smooth progression. It's a nice even acceleration down the track.
So why is this track so much faster? Let's take a look at what happens about two feet down the track. Now both balls start out together, but this ball gets to this position, it continues to go downhill, so it's going to change more of its potential energy into kinetic, so it's picking up speed and it's going to go across the bottom of this track at a very high rate. Watching in slow motion you can see both balls start together, but look at the big lead the one ball gets as it drops to a lower position. This is because more of its potential energy has been changed into horizontal speed. As the ball climbs up that lower ramp, its kinetic energy changes back into potential, continues going higher in the air, gravity causes it to decelerate, starts to fall and its potential energy changes back into kinetic, finally comes down, hits the water and then its energy is transferred into the splash and into a little bit of sound. Now is it possible to have both balls reach the end of the track at the same time? Well, of course it is, we just don't release them together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this version of my high low track. I think it's about time to put this monster away. So I want to thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.